half hour with new developments tied to the arrest of NFL star Aaron Hernandez. NBC's Stephanie Gosk was here with the latest. Stephanie, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Search warrants obtained by NBC News include new details of the evidence the prosecution has gathered, but perhaps even more interesting, the documents reveal how investigators discovered that evidence. Aaron Hernandez is the only suspect charged with the murder of 27-year-old Odin Lloyd, but prosecutors say the former New England Patriots player was joined by two other men the night of the shooting. One of those men, Carlos Ortiz, was questioned by investigators the day before Hernandez was arrested, according to search warrants obtained by NBC News. Ortiz is being held without bail after pleading not guilty to an illegal weapons charge. According to the warrants, he told police that Hernandez had an address not many people know about, a two-bedroom apartment that Ortiz described as a flop house. Valuable information from a man who may be helping the prosecution build a case against Hernandez, says legal expert David Schwartz. It leads me to believe that there may be the beginnings of meaningful and substantial assistance to the government on the part of Ortiz. While searching the two-bedroom condominium, investigators recovered multiple rounds, including three different calibers of ammunition located in a dresser drawer next to the nightstand. Some 45 caliber, which prosecutors allege matched the kind of bullets used to kill Lloyd. Also found a white-colored hooded sweatshirt investigators believe matches the one Aaron Hernandez is seen wearing in security video the night of the murder. While Hernandez sits in jail, NBC News has learned from law enforcement sources that new evidence seized in Bristol, Connecticut, could tie the football player to a separate crime, a double homicide in Boston last summer. Hernandez is under investigation for a possible connection to the drive-by shooting. Two men were killed and one was injured. Police impounded a silver SUV found in the garage belonging to Hernandez's uncle. The vehicle matches the description of the one police believe was used in the 2012 murders. There have been no charges so far in the 2012 double murder. Aaron Hernandez has pled not guilty in the Odin Lloyd case and is being held without bail. His next court date is scheduled for July 24th. A lot of layers to the story going they all the way back are. to the University of Florida as well. Stephanie Goss, thanks so much. Let's switch gears now and get that.